Hi, Joe Dante for Trail of Some Hell. What am I going to be talking about? You'll find out. No, seriously. You'll find out. That's the name of the movie. Uh, it's not a movie that would probably even be remembered today if it wasn't for the fact uh, that it stars, or co-stars, uh, Boris Karloff, Bela Lugosi, and Peter Lorre, uh, which is the first time that the two sinister Hungarians ever worked together on a film, and the only time. Will you please turn off that radio? Why, lady, that's Kay Kaiser. Band leader Kay Kaiser's College of Musical Knowledge was one of the hottest shows on radio during the run-up to World War II. And like some of his popular peers, Kaiser transitioned into the movies in 1939 with That's Right, You're Wrong, one of his quiz show catchphrases. It was a big enough hit to spawn this sequel, which employs a well-worn haunted house setup mixed with musical numbers. The band is contracted to play for a pretty heiress's birthday at a spooky mansion when they find they can't leave. Sinister forces drop chandeliers and make attempts on the birthday girl's life, could this mayhem be possibly connected to the baleful presence of the three boogeymen? You'll find out. Something terrible going on in this house. Somebody's trying to murder Janice Bellacrest. Murder? Although 20 minutes longer than most of its comic horror ilk to make room for the music, returning director David Butler handles it smoothly, Kaiser and his band are pleasant enough, and there's a funny Scooby-Doo sequence involving a dog and a lit stick of dynamite. The coolest aspect of the picture is the Sonovox, which figures in the seance sequences. This electronic voice effect was pretty new in 1940 and is still in use today by rock musicians. Now it's referred to as the talk box. One bit that endears this RKO picture to horror fans is when Kaiser is bumbling around in a secret passageway and comes upon a room decorated with two of the spider models from the deleted spider pit sequence from King Kong, along with other Willis O'Brien props from both King Kong and Creation. You can imagine the art director searching the prop house and saying, hey, what are these things? They look cool. Let's use them in the picture. We love Hollywood, don't we? I'm just gonna stay. Crazy for you.